Hey guys, welcome back. Today is the big day. The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack official reveal trailer is here and she is 2 minutes and 37 seconds long. I am so excited to see what's inside this trailer. I've been thinking about it, I've been dreaming about it, and yesterday we talked all about it and it seems like the name is definitely matching up to the official uh, leak details that the Sims community reported on. So I'm really excited to see some of those like details or some of the description come to life within this trailer. I don't really know what to expect. So I think we should just dive in and I do have headphones on and I'm also going to be changing the music for copyright But I can I, I can hear everything that's happening. So I'll try to narrow narrate on that where it's possible But anyways, I just want to I just want to watch this damn trailer So we're gonna do it once at regular speed and then we'll play it back at half speed and we'll talk about it So this is our brand new world. It's very colorful like really really colorful I love that it kind of has like this city vibe to it and it's just so packed full of culture. Oh, you're kidding. Hopscotch. Did you guys see that? That's insane. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's like the multi-residential dwellings. I don't know if this is supposed to be an apartment complex, but it looks like it because we have our property owner here and we have, oh, our tenant. She looks like she's been living there a long time. And then of course we got the problem child and the other tenants that like to the goss a little bit and then the snooper <laughs> oh my god okay amy <gasps> a water heater you're kidding i've been wanting a water heater for a very long time and it looks like we get a rice cooker and some brand new recipes do you guys see that in the bag i'm i'm trying to watch this so quick it is just going by very fast look at the new hair here i love that hairstyle oh my god did he just did he just freaking dab he's making so much noise right now y'all i swear okay Oh no, it's like a basement to the apartments and we have a power box. Looks like we also have different types of um, air conditioners too that stick outside the building. Ooh, a little fish market and a lantern light. Look at all these eats. <gasps> I love that stall it has like little homemade goods on it. Ew, she's giving, she's like such a creep and she's breaking into her freaking neighbor's apartment <gasps> with a crowbar. <laughs> oh my God, somebody come get her. <laughs> That's crazy. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely an apartment complex that needs a serious deep clean and perhaps even maybe a renovation. What the fuck is that? Oh my God. It's like Mushroom Boy or, I, oh my God. Ew. <laughs> fungus, Fungus Boy. I don't know what to call him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm a sim. Look at the rooftop. So did she just bribe him or something with some secrets that, oh. Wait, did I just see marbles? Okay, so not only can you bribe your neighbors, but also you can play marbles. Look at the food stands and stuff. Wow, absolutely, just simply wow. Get busy on December 7th. What day is it? Okay, it's the second, so it's not too far off, but of course, when something new is on the horizon, it feels like literally forever. But if you buy by January 18th, you will get the Street Eats digital content, which includes the Quick Treats Grill. It kind of looks like a street cart, but I'm not sure if it functions as one. And then we get the Street Side Stars Shade and the Peak Freshness Fruit Basket. So I did tell you earlier that I was gonna go back one more time, but I feel like on Honestly, everything was pretty straight to the point. I don't necessarily feel like I need to re-watch this or anything, but while I talk about my initial reaction, we'll just kind of play it maybe in the background a little bit. So we'll just play it at like, I don't know, not half, but a little above half. So I really like the world. The world is super beautiful, full of color, full of life. I love like the little downtown market area. Um, but overall, I would say this expansion pack is very much reminding me of like city living, almost like city living 2.0. And I'm not mad at it. I definitely think it's an interesting choice that they included this these features um, in a pack that came a lot later, but I'm happy that they did because it feels feels like this year for me personally, this year, I feel like we've been getting a lot of things that we've been raving from the sims i'm sad that i don't see cars that would definitely have like set it off for me for sure but i'm happy because being able to build apartments being able to build um these structures where many families or multiple families live within them is something that i feel like has been missing for a really long time like i was so happy to get apartments with city living but i was sad that i didn't have any control over making them i'm also very excited about the water heater like low-key so yeah we didn't get cars 
cars, but we get a rice maker and we get a water heater like Jen's happy. And we're including some just classic childhood favorites like hopscotch and marbles, which definitely, definitely take me back. And there is a little bit of intrigue, just just a little bit with that fungus boy, because in the trailer, when I went back and watched the footage, he spits or spews his spores into that old lady suite. You'll have to watch it as we go through. But this entire world just seems like it is full of action and full of life, full of gossip, full of drama. And I'm really excited to see how that's going to kind of come into fruition. I think for this expansion, I want to do a very low key, um, maybe like, yeah, like I said in my other video, rags to renters or something. It's I, I think it'd be fun to kind of maybe purchase a low a low cost property if that's even possible and then kind of work our way up. I don't know. I don't know how much control we have over the building of, you know, apartments. So I don't really know if that's even possible, but I'm, I'm curious. I think there's like even like a rating system too as well. Um, but we'll have to read into the actual trailer notes, which are left down in the description. And something else I noticed about this trailer, it already has almost 200,000 views in the first day. So I know y'all are excited about this expansion. I'm super curious to know what you think in the comments down below. But like, what the freaking heck is that? Like, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. He's turning colors. Like, he almost looks like some sort of, I don't even know. I was going to say The Last of Us, but he looks freaking scary. I will say one thing. I love Build By. I love Bill Bai. I love all the little objects and stuff and just, you know, their new recipes and activities that I can see that we can do so far. But I will admit Cass isn't really like standing out to me as much as I would like it to. But I feel like this expansion pack is just mostly focused on Build Bai and, you know, the new functionalities and abilities of um, the pack and what it has to offer. So that's OK. But this world is gorgeous. It does look kind of small, doesn't it? Is this it like right here? That's all. It looks really tiny to me. It's time to open your door to new rental opportunities in this picturesque world of Tomerang. Experience the neighborhood as a property owner or tenant, fix utilities, deal with unruly neighbors, create a community, and even manage multiple residential rentals. In the Sims War for Rent expansion pack, players will have the opportunity to build and create a variety of dwellings, including townhomes, duplexes, apartments, and more. Players will discover that close living quarters make for some of the most harmonious relationships that will either bring the community together or drive it apart. Now answer the door and get ready to discover the drama at your doorstep. Welcome to Tomerang. Soul Soul Neighbor, welcome to the bustling city of Tomerang, a scenic world nestled in a lush tropical landscape and vibrant city skyline. In a world alive with possibilities, Tomerang breathes new life into many stories that can be told in multi-family dwellings. Inspired by a unique blend of tradition and modern, mod, modern entity, <laughs> Sims can immerse themselves in the Southeast Asian inspired world and discover various new exciting community activities to reflect the elements of Southeast Asian culture. The Sims team proudly collaborated with Jason Chu, an Asian American rapper, social justice advocate, and cultural expert with family roots in Southeast Asia to consult on the four rent expansion pack to deliver more choices with how players explore and express their individuality. When your Sim needs a break from the hustle and bustle of the big city, they can relax in the green haven of the botanical gardens, visit an animal sanctuary, or leave incense or fruit offerings at the spirit house, while children's sims can play hopscotch and marbles in the park. As sims move into the new residential rentals, it's inevitable that they will get tangled up in each other's lives. From basement suites to duplexes, sims can discover drama right at their doorstep, as they will have ample opportunity to discover each other's secrets by eavesdropping, snooping, or even breaking and entering. With so much to talk about, Sims can head over to the city's iconic night market for an evening stroll. After exploring a world aglow with lanterns, buzzing with vendors, tantalizing foods and unique items, Sims can be inspired to eat like the locals at home where they can cook a variety of dishes. After their meals, Sims can enjoy a halo halo and Thai iced milk tea. I thought I saw that. I, I could have sworn I saw it. So that looks pretty cool. It kind of gives you an idea of how the apartment 
apartments are sectioned off and how you can actually see the boundaries of each and every apartment. So I'm assuming this one here in the lighter blue area is one apartment and then over here in the pink is another. Okay, I really like that. A new type of lot in town. We know apartments and multi-residential rentals have been highly requested by players and we wanted to ensure that this feature offered in rich and immersive gameplay that expands on the multitude of story opportunities. The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack introduces a new dimension to housing options, enhancing the overall depth and complexity of Sims relationships, personalities, and experiences. For the first time ever in The Sims 4, Simmers can build a fully customizable multi-unit dwelling where multiple Sims families can live on the same lot. This, stop, don't, don't say it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is possible in any livable Sims 4 world. I'm dying. In a touring, these gorgeous dwellings feature versatile wooden window shades, homes on stilts near scenic beaches, as well as historic bridges. For interiors, there are traditional wood carvings and rattan furniture available alongside traditional Southeast Asian inspired rugs, chairs, tiles, and lamps. New residential rentals allow a sim to get creative with fully customizable multifamily dwellings. Give your Sims a basement suite to rent out, a cozy duplex for close families, or even build spacious apartments for large families. Community events like a potluck and pool parties provide the perfect opportunities for Sims to engage with their neighbors and get a sense of community property management. Sims can soon evolve into savvy property owners and live amongst tenants or maintain separate residences while generating income from multiple property investments. While being at home can be relaxing, property owners may face a tenant revolt if you allow your ratings to slip too low. To further immerse players into the world of rent, Sims can now gain four new aspirations, five traits, and a new fear that help create unexpected and exciting stories. Tenants can experience evictions as a result. Fears now include a tenant being afraid of being evicted due to misbehavior. But don't worry, you can always give someone a second chance. On the flip side, property managers have their own layer of responsibility. It's not all fun and games. Property owners can visit and do inspection, shoring up any broken objects, including the new water heater and electrical fuse box utility objects. No tenant is going to want cold water or flickering lights. Sims can also have aspirations to become the nosiest of seeker of secrets, a five-star property owner, the local fount of the Tumorani knowledge, or a discerning dweller the best neighbor and tenant ever. To make these communities even more interesting, Sims have five new traits. Sims can be nosy, generous, cringe, child of the village, and the elder. Wow, that article was jam freaking packed full of information, and I think any questions that I had have pretty much been answered. I'm really freaking excited, but you know what? Actually, I take that back. <laughs> I love like the sriracha right there. I wonder if this cart will actually function as like a little a little food cart, because it looks like one. I wouldn't want to just grill here for issues and giggles. Like, I want to be able to like sell things on this. Anyway, y'all, this expansion has me, has me so freaking excited. I have, a, I have butterflies. No, actually, I have elephants just going around in my stomach right now. I love the fact that we are able to create our own apartments, own multi-residential dwellings. Maybe we could do like trailer parks and things like that. And I love, I'm so actually, no, I don't even love. I'm literally ecstatic jumping upside, upside down, <laughs> jumping up and down right now at the fact that we can do this in any world. I was so worried in yesterday's video. I even said it. I was like, I'm not going to hold my breath that we're going to be able to do this in other worlds. I don't know if I want to play as a landlord well I do want to play <laughs> I do want to play as a landlord but I also want to like play as a resident too I just there's so much that I'm almost overwhelmed like I don't even know what to think or what to say Ooh, I love these plastic chairs this is so cool anyways you guys I don't know if I should wrap up this video here but let me just tell you I am very 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 excited for this expansion pack like this is completely and utterly up my alley 
I can't wait to get my hands on it. I can't wait to start filming it. And I can't wait to see what you guys think. Again, yeah, the cast really isn't standing out to me as much as, you know, in other packs and expansions and stuff. But I think I think the main focus is obviously on the gameplay and build by. And, you know, I'm OK with that. I totally am. I will say, though, I really like this hair here. And it also looks like we get a few different hairstyles, like these little buns. And I believe this hairstyle is also brand new. But I'm not going to focus on cast too much because again, I don't really think that's the star of this expansion. I don't think anybody's getting this expansion just for the cast. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope y'all are just as excited as I am. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.